What's up, Realtors? Today, I'm giving you a full no-fluff walkthrough of my absolute number one favorite app of 2025, Gamma.app. If you're a Realtor tired of wasting hours on boring presentations, clunky websites, or outdated marketing tools, this is the game changer you've been waiting for. I'm gonna show you guys every single button, every feature, and how it actually works so you can hit the ground running, start building stunning content in just minutes, and stand out in today's crazy competitive competitive market. So trust me, you're going to want to get on Gamma app ASAP after seeing this. So let's dive right in. All right, guys. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to the Gamma website. So that's gamma.app. Okay. And you're going to see it'll bring you right in here. And the best part about Gamma is you can start it for free. It's a credit based system. So you only get a certain amount of credits every month. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump straight into the pricing. So here you go. You get 400 AI credits at sign up. You get basic AI image generation and you can generate up to 10 cards. The free plan includes 20,000 AI token inputs, unlimited gamma and users, gammas and users and basic import uh, and export from PowerPoint to PDF. And then you get a website builder as well. Now, this is the plan that I'm on is the plus one. So it's eight bucks per seat per month. If you buy it annually, it gives you unlimited AI creation, advanced AI image generation. So you actually get a couple more models. I'll show you guys that as we get in there. And then you get to actually remove the made with gamma badge and you can generate up to 20 cards at once. This includes everything in the free plus 50,000 AI token inputs, priority support, and early access to new features. So when you're ready to get started, you can just go over here, click start, sign up with Google or sign up with your email, and then you will be rocking and rolling. And that'll bring you to our next screen here, which is the front end of Gamma. So we're just going to go through every single one of these buttons up here. So that way you can understand the full platform. And then if you're interested in some actual use case scenarios, I've got videos throughout my YouTube channel showing you how I use Gamma in my business. So first and foremost up here, we've got our workplace and you can choose your settings. Come down in here. You can add a workspace logo. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you can. You can uh, manage your billing here. They're always going to try to get you to keep upgrading to pro. But guys, I have found that everything works on the plus membership. So I'm good with that. Next, you can add members. So if you've got a VA or if you've got anybody else that you want inside of here, you can go ahead and add them in here. And then here's our workspace, uh, our workspace default. So you can choose the access level for your members. You can even have some external collaborators and you can set up a basic theme to your actual work pay, uh, workspace page. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the meat and potatoes of what Gamma is. Guys, Gamma creates presentations that are next level and they happen really, really quickly. As you guys can see, I've created quite a bit, but they range. So let's just go ahead and go through this exactly as you would if you were going to be creating something new. So what we can do is go ahead and create new from here. And on Gamma, you're going to have the option to paste in text. You can generate from a one line prompt in just a few seconds and you can even import a file or a URL. So let's say you have a slide deck file that shows exactly what you want those slide decks to be described as and the information inside of them. You can just upload it right in there or you can copy the document and just paste it directly in with text. You can see here that I have all of my recent prompts that I went into here. So let's just go ahead and click on one. This is a market analysis that I did inside of Gamma, but I actually use ChatGPT's deep research to go ahead and pull this data. Now, once again, guys, when we're researching market updates or market information and we're using ChatGPT or Gemini's deep research function, it's only able to get publicly available data. So if you're looking for more detailed data that goes into some of the stuff that we only get to see as real estate agents, then we just extract that from the MLS and add it to the document. It's pretty simple there. But I'll show you exactly how this works, right? So we can go either free form or card by card. I usually leave free form just because, guys, I'm not a graphics designer and I just want this done for me quickly. So we have this box over here where we have our text content. So what's going to happen is Gamma is going to choose what it's going to do with this information, right? So if we want it to condense it, so let's say we're putting in a bunch of information in here and we want it still to stick to kind of what it's saying without creating a bunch of new stuff, we can have it condense this down to where it fits onto these cards, or we can just say preserve the data itself and it won't change anything here. Now, keep in mind it's AI, so sometimes it doesn't fully adhere to its prompts, but it works pretty well here in Gamma. And then over here we have generate and this will literally just read it like as if it's a summary and then generate its text on top of that. So it'll kind of, you run the risk of like hallucinations and stuff like that. This does work for other stuff, but when it's market updates, especially with this example here, we're going to want to make sure we keep it uh, e either into preserve or into condense. And then here we have the max text per card. So we can have medium text, detailed text, or brief text. I usually just keep medium. It just depends on the content that you're putting in there and how much you need to have on the card itself. And then we have our 
output language here. So gamma comes in a whole bunch of different languages here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose English because that's my language. And then we can choose the images. So we're gonna be using AI images. You can use automatic, which will just kind of go through everything, the stock photos, the web images and AI images that are inside of gamma. And it'll choose which one to do based on the prompt that's going towards it. Or you can just choose stock photos. So this would be from Unsplash. If you guys haven't heard of that, it's like a stock photo place, kind of like iStock, but just kind of not as good in, in the highly detailed of photos, but it's still pretty good. Then we can search the web for internet images, or we can just create AI generated images, or we can enter illustrations from pictographic. We can do GIFs, we can put placeholders, or we can just choose not to add images at all. So I choose the AI images because I love AI and it makes some pretty crazy images. And then under our image style here, I just typed in photography because I want it to be real uh, or at least look real, right? And then I can choose the AI image model. So if you're on the plus plan, you're gonna see that we have access to quite a few different models here and even more on the pro plan. So if the pro plan's more for you, you can jump in on this. They do have the new GPT image creator, which is not Dolly 3, it's the new GPT one. So that's pretty awesome. But you can see here, we also have Flux Pro, Ideogram 2A Turbo, Imogen 3, Leonardo Phoenix, and Luma Photon. These are all really good models, guys. My personal favorite is Black Forest Labs Flux Pro, which we're gonna use in this uh, demonstration here. And then what I can do is choose the format. So keep in mind, guys, that Gamma is really made to be housed on Gamma. So these presentations are saved there. We can run the presentations from the website, but if you're more into PowerPoint or you're not gonna have internet where you're at when you need to do the presentation, then you can actually um, mix this down or you can actually export this down into a PowerPoint file. You wanna make sure that you're choosing the right page style because Gamma does traditional and tall. And these tall ones here, they won't fit into PowerPoint very well and you'll have to move and adjust everything as it goes through. So we would go ahead and choose traditional and then you can choose what type. So we can either do a presentation, we can build a web page, we can build a document, or we can build a social media post. So I'm just gonna show the presentation for now and let's go ahead and jump right through. It's gonna now take us over here to a theme where we can pick a theme. There's a bunch to choose from, plus you can set up your own theme, which I'm gonna show you through here in just a second. And then you can go ahead and click generate. And then it'll take just a couple of minutes to generate. We're not gonna go too deep into this. I have another video on YouTube where I actually set up the market updates and I'll go ahead and link it right up here for you guys. But in short, here you go guys. Like it's gonna start creating all of our text and all of our photos for us uh, based on the information that we put in here. So I put in the market update for Denver, Colorado and you're gonna see it tried to create an AI image for Denver, Colorado. But guys, look it, it's giving us a really good starting point for a presentation that we can now make a video on and send out to our clients or we can present this in person to people. So Gamma has an insane ability to be able to create awesome looking presentations in a very short amount of time because guys, if I were to do this on my own, not only would I probably not be able to do it, but uh, this would take me hours or days, right? And we're doing this in just a couple of minutes. So this is why Gamma is my favorite app of 2025. It is a massive time saver. It is amazing and it just does such a great job. So that's the presentation side of Gamma. So let's go ahead and move on. So if you come down here, you can see if anybody's ever shared any gammas with you. So you can share back and forth between other gamma users, which is really cool. And you can also create a website, right? So what I did is I created a comparative market analysis on a website here and uh, I threw it together and then I kind of used this as a demo. So that's actually a picture of my mom on there for one of her thumbnail images. But guys, this is really easy to be able to go ahead and throw a CMA together, make it look good. You can edit it and then it's a site. So instead of throwing a cloud CMA over or a PDF, you can actually send your users to a site that's pretty interactive and they can see everything here. The websites do take a little bit more time to build, but as you can see, it pretty much builds it for us in whatever theme we choose and then we can just add on to it. And so if you ever wanted to go in and add on, you can see this menu bar here to the side and this is also in the presentations as well where we can choose from different templates of cards. We can use different smart layouts. We can choose our text heading size, everything like that. We can add images once again. We can create videos. We can link YouTube videos, Vimeo videos, TikTok videos, whatever. We can embed websites or apps right inside of there. So maybe you wanted to put a mortgage calculator from your website in there. You can embed this right in there so they can interact with it. This is definitely going next level when it comes to comparative market analysis and just websites for, uh, for our buyers and our sellers. We can also put in charts. So we can add diagrams, donut charts, bar charts, line charts, column charts, you name it. We can put it in there. And then we can also add forms and buttons. So if you wanted to send some 
somebody to a Google form to fill something out, or you wanted to send them to your Calendly for a, to book that in-person appointment, they can do so right from the website. It's all about convenience and it's all about helping our customers make the best decisions that they can while simplifying the process, guys, and Gamma hits every single point. And full disclosure, guys, I'm not sponsored by Gamma. I'm not affiliated with Gamma. This is just an amazing app that I use all the time and I wanna share it with you guys. Okay, so next to that is one of my favorite parts of Gamma. This is gonna be our AI images. So guys, we can just use Gamma to generate AI images if you want. And you might be asking yourself, well, why would I wanna generate an AI image? Well, guys, look at the stock photo quality that we get from here. We can now generate stock photos that will look like the houses that are in the areas that we're at. And we don't have to pay people like iStock and Unsplash because now we can create this all on our own. Guys, I also have another video I'm coming out with where I'm gonna show you guys how to do AI staging through Gamma and ChatGPT where we can stage our listings. But as you can see here, guys, it does a really good job of creating very realistic images that we can absolutely use in our listing presentations, our buyer's presentations, and really anything else that you can imagine. I've used it to create all of my thumbnail backgrounds for some of my courses that I have, and it's just a really cool thing. And one of my favorite parts, like I said, is the fact that we can choose through all of these different models. So if you come over here to generate a new AI image, you just put your prompt in here. You can select your style. So they let you choose from a whole bunch of different styles here. And if you're like me and you love the realism on this stuff, you can just choose photography and then it gives us even more details down here. So if you're really good at prompt engineering, you can come in here and edit these prompts even further to get you even more detailed images. Then you can come down here and select your aspect ratio. So you can go from square, portrait or landscape, whatever type of image that you wanna create, whether it's for social media, for the presentation or anything else like that. We have control over the aspect ratio. One of my most frustrating things when generating images inside of Mid Journey or ChatGPT is that sometimes it doesn't pay attention to the aspect ratio that we request and then we got to keep regenerating the image. And then next over here, we got the models. So once again, we can go through all of these models. My favorite is Flux Pro. And once you get all set up, you just go ahead and click generate and it will generate a couple of images for you. I think it's about three or four images for each generation. And then it saves them right here. So you'll always have all of your AI images saved. Absolutely awesome. Love AI image generation and can't wait to see where we get with AI video presentation here soon. Next is our folder section. So it's pretty much self-explanatory there. I have all of my AI presentations over here and you can add another folder very easily and just say buyer presentations. And then this is a good way to keep everything organized because once you start crushing it on Gamma and creating all these different presentations, you're gonna find that it becomes kind of daunting to look at the giant list of presentations that you have. So keeping them in the folders will help you keep organized there. All right, guys, moving on, we've got templates over here. So this is pretty cool because if you're like, I don't really know where to start, but I'd like to just kind of see where things can go. You can actually come over here and choose from templates. Now they don't have really a lot for real estate, but we can obviously translate these over. They have a few sales and marketing ones. They have some project and collaboration and then just their popular section here. So if you wanted to use the template, you could just go ahead and click it there or you could preview it and just see what it looks like. And then if you're like, hey, I've already got all my information. I don't want the AI to recreate it. You can just come in here, copy and paste, and you've got your entire template for you. So it's definitely gonna bring a new level to the game of uh, presentations in my opinion. And like I said, this is my number one app of 2025 so far. Next here we have the inspiration tab. And this one's pretty cool too, because this is kind of just for fun. You can go over here and just look for inspiration and see what other people have been doing on here and kind of where people are taking this. I love this spot here because like I said, sometimes we're just searching for ideas and you can come down in here and see what other people have been doing and uh, get good ideas from it. Next is gonna be our themes. So you can actually create your own theme or even import it. So if you've already got your branding taken care of and you know what your colors are, you can just come over here, click new theme. You can either import the file or you can build the theme and it shows a bunch of different options for you here that you can just choose from or you can customize it and actually put your color codes in here to make sure that this is exactly branded to what you've already worked so hard to create, which is your brand. This is next level, guys. I recommend everybody come in here and do this. So that way, when you're creating these presentations, you can bring out your brand as well. All right, guys, so let's keep going here. Next is our custom fonts. So if you already have custom fonts, you can upload those straight into the font family and voila, you've got yourself some custom fonts. And then you got the trash. So anything that you delete doesn't get deleted immediately. It goes to a trash can, which makes things easily recoverable, which is another reason why I love this app so much. And guys, keep in mind, Gamma is only available on the desktop. They do not make an app for it yet. So all of this awesome stuff just has to be done on your laptop or at your computer at home. All right, let's jump back into settings and members. We were already here in the very beginning, uh, but they do have another link for it right here. Once again, you can access it from up here or you can access it from down 
here. Another great thing about Gamma is support is just a chat away. You can send a message directly to them. They're very quick to respond and they got great customer service. And then you can share your feedback with Gamma if you have any complaints or any comments or anything else that you want to do, feature requests, etc. You can go over here through Gamma and do that. And guys, that is basically the front end of Gamma. It is an amazing, amazing app that's going to absolutely change the game for your presentations, including your social media posts. And like I said before, if you guys want to see more of this, I've got a couple of tutorials on my YouTube channel already that I'll link here. So that way you guys can jump in and see how I use Gamma. Last but not least, we have our new updates in Gamma here. So anytime you see that red dot pop up next to that bell, they probably added something, which they do all the time. So this is always fun to go here and see what new stuff we've got here. And then once again, our account settings, you can switch your language or you can sign out. So that in a nutshell, guys, is Gamma.app. All right, Realtors, that's the full Gamma app walkthrough. And if you're ready to stop fighting tech and start creating presentations, websites, and marketing materials that actually win clients, then Gamma is hands down the tool to make it happen. I've tested a ton of apps this year and Gamma is still sitting firmly at my number one spot for a reason. So check the link below to try Gamma for yourself. And if you're serious about dominating AI in real estate, don't forget to check out Apex Elite AI while you're down there. So please smash that like button if you found this helpful. Hit subscribe for more powerful AI tools and walkthroughs and share this with the realtor who needs to level up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's keep stacking those wins.